Hello everyone, this is System Collapse. Back yet again playing FTB Beyond. And uh I did a little bit of between episodes, haven't done a ton, but uh we're gonna get to a bunch more, so let's go take a look. Um in between episodes I did I set up uh sorting and auto filtering for the void resource miner and it's actually automatically being pulled into the system now so this is now 100 percent automated uh what we're actually going to work on today is this one and we're going to get it all sorted out we did all the uh igots igadors yesterday today we're going to work on all the ones that actually need to be pulverized down so we're going to set up auto uh pulverizers and uh importing and all that jazz all that good stuff i'm just going to show you this over here and as you can see, a fire just started, and it, it it will keep doing that. It is very odd. If I just hold this ore <laughs> and walk around with it like I am and get myself lit on fire, uh, it actually starts fires all over the place. <laughs> it's called, uh, what is it called? Firestone ore? Yeah, I didn't know about this ore at all. <laughs> I pulled it out here. I was trying to figure out which ones had to be broken down and pulverized and what their secondary uh, resources are when they're pulverized. Uh, so I could deal with them and filter them and I just came across it. It kind of startled me I didn't know why I was lighting my world on fire Yeah, we're gonna just set these up get them all set up get them all filtered and uh, after that everything's gonna be just golden We'll be able to not worry about ores anymore after that I only have to do the quantum quarry and that one can be done entirely using nothing but filters after that point It's not gonna pull in any more resources that the other ones do. It just pulls it in quicker by the default speed uh, than the other one. So it's not going to be an issue to manage at all. Going to need that. We're going to need exporters. And we're going to need, that's internal storage. We're going to need importers. So let's grab all this jazz. Uh, I guess first thing is to convert it. So let's convert all these. Get them up to resident. I did make a bunch more of those. Block successfully upgraded. Then we are going to need, I guess we need the, which ones is the first? We guess the importers on bottom, exporters on the bottom. So let's do this. Exporters on, is that the way I have it? Yes, it is. Oh, that's cable. So let's not do that yet. Exporters. Yes, exporters on bottom. My brain just doesn't want to process it, so we'll just run these all across here. Uh, then we'll run some standard cable up from the center point. Get up there. Then we're going to have to set up those filters before we do the rest, but that should only take a second. Uh, let's keep those here. Let's throw all that. I need the wings. But other than that, just to speed things up, because there is a bunch of these. And I'm going to double up most of the filters. It's not really a big deal. So two, two, I think a couple of them are going to have to have three. But it's not a big deal. Tungsten, glowstone, cobalt. And uh, I'm going to set these up later on. Did I not put anything in that one? Glowstone. Uh, to triple up on some of the resources. There is an upgrade for these. Uh that you can put into them that'll actually allow you to triple up. I think it's called uh, tectonic something. What is that called? Tect. Tectonic. This thing. Tectonic initiator. And it is an upgrade for the pulverizer. It'll allow you to increase yields for mores. So instead of doubling, it actually triples, which sounds fantastic for certain ones. And we will get to that. I just need to be able to get enough of the ballas rods, I think they're called. Uh, to automate that and I do have one trap now so I quit create a spawner I just haven't got to it yet next we need to set up the where are they let's get these on my bar again and get these out took me about 30 minutes to go through and figure out exactly which ones I needed it takes a little time but uh, not too bad I just ran all the ores through a pulverizer and then found out what their secondaries was. We'll see that when we go set up the other side. Uh, we need now the importers. Import the goods out when it's done. So we're just going to run those along the back. There we go. And then that's pretty much it, right? Uh, we need to set up power. So let's grab, I should have conduit here. 
Did I leave? Maybe the conduit's in the bag. Yes, I got conduit in the bag. And I need a flux plug. Do a nice clean setup. Get all this going. Then we can get on the other things. But I wanted to go through uh, setting up sorting and filtering and all that stuff. Because a lot of new players have... This is one of their biggest issues. They end up with just massive amounts of stuff that they don't need. Uh, spamming the world. I don't care it, who you are, what kind of computer you have. In time, this is going to lag you. Just not dealing with these. So uh, dealing with issues like this. You could build, you know... All the storage in the world you want, but uh, if you get too many items and don't have a way of managing them, your systems are going to get backed up and uh, real messy. Gonna do that, and this one should probably take three smacks. There we go. I guess all we really need is not that. And I know this isn't important. It's not something that everyone needs to see, but. It only takes a second, and I'd like to show people just how easy it is, really, the build. I mean, a lot of people I mean, are like, don't know how you do your thing, you do. But uh, I just kind of just do it. It's kind of just organic. I just kind of build, and a lot of times I build stuff, and I don't like it, and I end up destroying it and doing it again. Uh, that's why I started this base and started all over again. I, I built that sphere, the wall, round walls, and was like, no, I'm not doing that. And I do that all the time. So the next part of this would be to give them upgrades, I guess. Let's organize that. Actually, I shouldn't have organized that, but not a big deal. Where are my wings? Make sure I have my wings on me. Uh, I want these upgrades. And I'm only going to put three in each one right now. Because as I said before, I am going to be putting the upgrade, other upgrade into them at some point. Uh, but, oh, I don't even need to do that. I forgot those, these would do that. I can just... Uh, Hit them three times each. That would work. Two, three. One, two, three. I had someone tell me, send me a message over uh, Twitch actually saying, oh, you should use this. So I'm going to try it out. It's this thing here, the red print. It's supposed to be able to configure your side. So these ones should be the same as this. Uh, how are they configured? Configured, so blue, orange. Should be exactly the same. So let's try it out. Let's try blue. Orange, that should be good. And then I should be able to just, I don't know, right click. Signal, no. Oh, okay. So it is working. Let's check. Did it configure it? No. Do I left click? Is that what I do? Not configuring them. Let's clear it. You shift right click to clear it. I know that. There we go. Red print Pavel's riser. And there we go. That's what I like to see. There we go. They're pulling everything in like they should be. Why isn't that one pulling anything in though? That kind of concerns me. Let's uh, clear this stuff out for a second. Do a quick check. Make sure I have a filter. It might be that I just uh, I don't have any of that in the system, I don't think. That is the only problem. Not a problem. So this is already processing uh, resources. The problem is this is going to spam our network. So we're going to have to go to the other side and figure that out real quick. Sort it out, I should say. So I already have everything over here. These are all the resources that we have to set up. So uh, I already have all they get set up. And these ones up here from the void. We're going to set these ones down here. Uh, I kind of have them split up. These are the ones that are going to go to... Quantum storage, these ones are going to 1Ks. These ones have to be set up for auto smelting, and this one just has to be stored, so I can do that too. Actually, they'll go into a 1K. It doesn't even have to be uh, processed. So, how many is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we'll just set up the filters real quick. Oh, that one was set for resonating ore. I forgot about that. Let's uh, do that, and... My render card's on the other side, I think, unless it's in my bag. Yes, we'll go back, grab that in a second. Which means I'll need one more space. Not a big deal. That's not right at all. There we go. Now, let's set up filters. So, glowstone. Diamond. I'd like to do diamond first. Sorry, just me, BB, and me. I gotta do things at a set order. 
So diamond. I don't need an emerald. Okay, we're gonna need an emerald real quick. And I just need to set the priorities. I wish there was a faster way to set up the priorities. But there's not. I didn't hit set. You gotta make sure you hit that set button or it won't work. I used to do that all the time. And then wondering why things weren't coming to them. It'd be nice on the main screen if it told you, but it does not. Do this. And that. And then, oh, I did this wrong. So this one was resonating ore. This one's diamond. This one was emerald. Oh, I'm totally lost. I'll fix this. And there you go. They're all set up now. We've got uh, all of them set up. I'm going to render a couple more, but other than that, there we go. First uh, two rows are all set up. Everything from that is set up. Uh, we just need to do the 1Ks now, so let's get on to those. Uh, I should throw this in here. And stuff, as you can see, is coming in. Just hasn't processed any lapis yet, but it is processing all the stuff. Tons of it's coming in. And it will come in more and more over time. It can only process so much at once, though, so uh, since the filters are doubled up. Uh, let's see here. Let's clear this out. And this. So we're going to grab all this stuff. And this is going to be our 1Ks. So actually, this is not going to be a 1K. This is going to be a smelt. Uh, so I think that one's done. That one's done. So we'll do this. Priority 10 set. That was Certus. This is charged. This is Niter. This is Cinnabar. So that is all those. Those should be good to go now. Uh, see that things are coming in. Some of them should be coming in somewhere, I would think. There we go. That one's coming in. That's getting processed. So as long as things are coming in, a few of them, we know they're running. Uh, some of them are byproducts and some of them are not. So that is that is good to go. That is our processing on that pretty much automated uh, let's grab a let's see here it's in the other chest over here I shouldn't have I've got I've got I've got too much space between these two work areas it's the only problem of working with a large area uh, we're gonna go to we're gonna need this and I, do we need speed I don't think we're gonna need speed so I won't do it uh, a pipe Ender chest, and let's go see if this is backed up. Because this might be backed up, it might not be. Uh, I can't remember. I did put speed upgrades on the ender chest, so I don't think it's going to take very long to pull this stuff, but we'll see. Uh, that one's empty now, so I can actually get rid of that. That was just the sorting chest. There we go. Got all these ores in here that got to go. Uh, let's grab this. Put that there. Transfer there and here. There we go. It's gonna start pulling things out, and I think it's gonna pull it out quicker than it can put it in. But I'm not. I'm not in a big rush. As long as it goes, I'm happy. And uh, that's pretty much that. That is gonna be sorted now. It's gonna pull everything in, uh, get processed, and we should be pretty much golden. Okay, so now we're gonna do our dimensional shard setup. And it also doubles up uh, as an XP setup. Okay, my game crashed, and I realized I also forgot this. So we're going to set up Longzidite. It is not getting sorted currently. I forget which one was the last one. Over here somewhere. Of course, it'd be this one. Longzidite can go in there. Priority 10 set. There we go. So Longzidite's done. We don't have to worry about that anymore. And we can get all this stuff out of my inventory because it's just clogging me up. Uh, I guess we'll just do the setup right here. It doesn't really matter. Dimensional shared. We need an importer, an exporter, a mechanical user. So the mechanical user doesn't really matter. We'll just make a face this way. Uh, we're going to use a mechanical miner. And we're actually going to throw that there. Then we're going to take an exporter. Throw it on the back of the mechanical user. Uh, use dimensional shared. Gonna set it to actually let's place the other stuff first. Or it's going to make a mess. 
Uh, I guess we'll put it. We want an importer, I guess. We're going to have to dig down one or two. Just, uh, how do we want to do this? Let's do it this way. This. This. I'm curious. I've never tried to attach an importer. Let's see if it works directly to one of these before. For science, we'll find out. So that is there. That is going there. Excellent. And that is ready. Uh, we could add a book. I'm not going to worry about it. But uh, that is pretty sweet that you can do that. We're going to add a barrel right. Not right there. Can I have that back? Thank you. Oh, did that get imported? Well, that does work. Okay, so we're going to take the drum and we're going to throw it right here. Then we're going to set the side. I have no clue. North, first side. First one I chose. I am a pro at this. It's amazing. Uh, down can go items. That is fine. Then I should just have to. Let's uh, throw this in here. Uh, set this to place block. Look at that. Like clockwork. And you can make this insanely fast. I don't advise it, and I'm probably going to get lag. But, uh... Oh, that's not working. Perhaps if I actually do this. And this. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, you set this to 20, it actually gets insane. But that will get caught up really quick, and I'm actually going to get away from that and let the uh, hopper do its thing. But uh, yeah, that'll get us tons of levels and uh, get us all caught up. I'm guessing the hopper got backed up. No. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, I need to put items. I guess it's, uh, that's north, so it would be self items, right? Items self. Actually, I'm not sure why that's not exporting. Could, can you pull items in? That'd be great. I could use the transfer node. We'll do it the dirty way. There we go. Are you going in there now? There we go. We'll just do it that way. I don't know why I won't directly pull. Not a big deal. We'll just turn off that side. And it's going as fast as it can right now just because I don't have stack upgrade in there. I don't need to go that fast. It was more of just a funny thing to do. But if you ever find, I find a lot of people, they end up with about, you know, 50, 60,000 of those in your system. Yeah, just add speed upgrades to that transfer node or have a different way of picking up. And you can get through that dimensional shard or super fast. But uh, yeah, that's automated now. So we basically just have, what do we have left here? to be 100% done, these. So we just need to automate a furnace. Okay, now we're gonna set up a furnace. So we're going to use the extra utils uh, furnace. It's just, it's easy to automate and very fast. So that's the one we're gonna use. Uh, we're gonna need a power source. Do I have any flux plugs on me? I do, excellent. I almost flew away for nothing. Uh, gonna throw that on top just for fun. There we go. Then we're gonna grab an importer. And we're gonna need an exporter too, so let's go make one really quick. Ooh, getting a little bit of lag here. Stuff must be changing a lot. Because all the stuff that's getting processed right now. But once it's caught up, it's not gonna be a problem anymore. Uh, and that should take a second, only because of the crafters. It's probably doing the soldering, right? Oh, it should be done. Uh, exporter? There we go. Excellent. Let's uh, go over here. So we need to export the resources that we're going to use in the furnace, or cook in the furnace, I should say. So I should be able to just do that. And that should, yes. And then once that's done, we're going to put an importer right here. And that should bleed that. And once I add a few speed upgrades, actually, I don't even need speed upgrades. It's keeping up. Maybe one speed upgrade, and it'll keep up with yours. And after that point, this thing's good to go. And these are just temporary setups. I'm going to end up moving them. Uh, I just need to find out exactly where I want to put them. 
I'm not going to leave them here. Have this nice wall, then have this ugly stuff in front of it. It's not going to be like that. <laughs> Just need to find a home for it. Okay, and I think I think that's pretty much everything I want to get done. We've got our sorting up for the uh, for the uh, ore resource miner. We've got our dimensional uh, shards being broken down. Uh, we've got everything being filtered here. This will get caught up. It's just going to take a little while. It won't take too long. And uh, yeah, we've got uh, sorting all set up. We've got the 11 new pulverizers all set up doing their thing, getting all caught up. Uh, we are good to go. We are good to go. And I don't think there was anything else I need to set up. We are effectively able to move on to other things because this was something that was holding me back. Ooh, I'll be happy when that lag's gone. <laughs> Once the system see those lights that is a problem of refined storage when those drives get almost full and start that blinky light thing You get lag, but uh Once this gets caught up. It's not gonna be a problem anymore It's only because the numbers are changing so much right now because these are all processing doubling up there are moving everything to storage and uh Yeah, we've got our furnaces. We've got all the pulver pulverizers. We've got it too much going on, but it's only because it's working through a backlog. Once that backlog's done, all that lag's going to kind of ease up and relax. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to end this video here. I uh, think it was a good one. This is a good one. Top people, you know, not really teaching. It's, it's a let's play. I, I, my game, my, 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 my play of the game is kind of a half let's play, half tutorial of how to do things, right? So it's kind of the way I do things. Oh, no. No one's leaving. You just all sit there and wait. That's going to drive me crazy. Okay, crisis is averted. <laughs> Slopey walls all fixed up. Uh, we're good to go. Everything's auto-processing. Everything's doing what it should be. Once we get through the backlog, we'll be in a good place and be able to move on to other things. We're going to move on to some pretty cool stuff pretty soon. Uh, but as always, uh, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It's much appreciated. And uh, I want you guys all to have a good one. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later.